not. I have a deceased driver. I have a second patient on the other side of the vehicle. Okay. Sudden traumatic injuries, like car accidents, falls, or violent acts, kill or injure more Americans than any other cause. If this should happen to you or your loved one, your best hope depends on getting to a trauma center within 60 minutes. That brief, critical time we know is the golden hour. California Shock Trauma Air Rescue, our job is to make it possible for more people to reach surgical care within the golden hour. CalSTAR's entire team is committed to being there for you when you need us, providing care to you or your loved ones during the most rapid transportation possible to the place where there's the greatest chance for a complete recovery. I'm just every day amazed at the quality of the people we have in this organization. Everything we do, whether it's someone working to ensure payment or the mechanic working on the aircraft or someone else working to pay a vendor, everyone realizes that the purpose of our organization is to help the patient. This company has a lot of different departments, but everybody has the same main goal, to get a helicopter up in the air and save a life. The things that I do on a day-to-day -day -day basis are pretty important and uh, the longer that the aircraft's in the hangar is the inability for the company to provide a service to the, to the communities. Getting these patients transported in a timely manner is what this is all about. We, we pick up the patients as quickly as possible, deliver them to the hospital or wherever they need to be, and then we're trying to get back available for the next one. You have the frontline people that are out there saving lives, but every aspect of it ties together. You look at any position within the organization, be it the administrative level, uh, all the way out to the maintenance, to the professionals that either fly or care for the patients that we care for, every piece of the organization is inextricably linked. So it's imperative for each of those positions to work together cohesively to fulfill the end mission, which is saving lives. You really have to depend upon teamwork. It's uh, amazing the teamwork that is involved in completing a flight, getting trauma victims to an appropriate level of care within that golden hour. If you can see the difference that it makes in their prognosis, in their recovery times, in how they can return to the life that they were living before, you realize the importance. So I think about um, some of the patients that I've taken care of. And just knowing that CalSTAR um, has been effective in a child going home, a parent being able to go home and be a parent again, I truly can't describe it. And some days I sit and uh, try and think about why I do what I do. Um, and it, it's that reason, but I can't describe it even to myself. It's a tremendous feeling of pride and, um, for lack of a better term, joy. I've spent the last 33 years before retirement in the year 2000 as a hospital administrator. My daughter was born um, January 22nd last year. I'm 17 years old and 17 years ago I flew on CalSTAR. In 2002, on Flag Day, June 14th, which is our wedding anniversary, it was our 34th wedding anniversary, so I was doing some repair work on the siding. She had a rough night one night, and my husband and I thought maybe we should take her to the doctor to make sure she's okay. I got a RSV ammonia, and within 10 days of being alive. A piece of plywood slipped off the scaffolding and hit me on the right side of the head and put my brain into the left side of the head internally, took me to the ground and totally destroyed my right foot. The call was made right away when 
her CAT scan came back positive of three brain bleeds. It was scary for my parents and my family, you know? I mean, thinking, okay, we got this newborn child. We don't know if the child's gonna be alive. We thought she was gonna die. I mean, the chances were that this was really, really serious and that um, she might not live through it. That helicopter was over the house, I was told, within minutes from the call. I needed to be flown to Children's Hospital in Oakland, California to be seen by a specialist to get it cured. They started sedating her and that's when they called for CalSTAR. And it, it turns out that she has a pretty, a very serious liver disease. If it wasn't for CalSTAR, I wouldn't be here today. Really, that's the only way that we're able to live in Tahoe um, and have her have a serious health issue is knowing that CalSTAR could fly her at any time. So every Flag Day, I have a reason to celebrate Flag Day <laughs> more than waving a flag. <laughs> I'm just thankful they saved my life. Every year, CalSTAR crews respond to thousands and thousands of calls throughout our service area. Each time, we know we hold in our hands someone's mother or brother or child. We take that responsibility very seriously, but we can't do this alone. We need your individual support and the support of the communities we serve. You're as much a part of our team as the men and women who wear the CalSTAR uniform. Thank you for the support you've given us in meeting the CalSTAR mission, saving lives every day. To find out more about how you can save lives in your community, contact your local CalSTAR base, call our membership office toll-free, or visit us online.